throwing something to go get something to eat. It goes a long way, especially if you are a homeowner. <laughs> So I just wanted to share things that I feel like has helped me so much this year, just grow and evolve and just working towards becoming the person that God is calling me to be. And superfoods like ashwagandha, moringa leaf, elderberry, spirulina, oh, wow. goji wow. berry. Just they got like the avocado on top of it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Anastasia, so happy to have you. And if you are a returning subscriber, if you are a part of the family, hey girl, hey, y'all know we getting our stuff together over here. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, October 5th, y'all. It is 9.21 a.m. As you can tell, I'm in the cart. I'm out right now because we're actually headed to Costco, y'all. We are headed to Costco. We have been saying for so long that we wanted to get a membership at either Sam's Club or Costco. And then we both decided on Costco. So what better time? Because fourth quarter, we all know fourth quarter is um, cold weather, you know, not my favorite seasons. I know y'all get tired of me saying that, but the, just so we're clear, I'm a summer, spring girl. More so summer, okay? We know it's like cold weather, things like that, you know? So you just want to prepare for like, you know, stocking your fridge, stocking your pantry. I know y'all have also probably seen the headlines where people have been saying that from the strike that, you know, it's uh, everybody should go and stock up on things because of the strike. But I think if I heard correctly yesterday, um, they've actually called the strike off and they're no longer striking. I don't know. Fact check that. It is 9.24 a.m. Super early. We wanted to go ahead and get started super early. So I have to go by the um, back to the eyeglass store because I know y'all can see that I got my glasses. I don't feel like they sized them right. I feel like they're kind of too big. Kind of falling off my face a little bit. So um, we're going to stop there first. I want to let them do that. And then I want to... Um, also asked them about my eyeglass case because I was trying to put them back in the case or put them in the case and they wouldn't fit so hopefully they can give me a case that actually fits my glasses because I think that's necessary thank you okay thank you Okay, and then we're just waiting about 30 seconds, okay? Yeah. Right. Why do you cross your feet like they can see it? I want to see what you said, my feet. Start ahead for me. On the count of three, one, two, three. Perfect. Officially a Costco member. Woo woo. Thank you. You're welcome. You like your picture? <laughs> I like my dad. <laughs> so we instantly came over to get food because we realized we did not eat breakfast. I got like a chicken sandwich, but I'm mad I did not get this chicken bait. This looks so good. Look at these cookies. Yeah, this is a whole experience for me, okay? Let me live. This is the chicken bake. Oh my, I'm so glad I didn't get that. I should have got that. That's what people can see. Can't see? Can't sleep. Guys, so we had to grab us a snack and we are officially in shopping mode and we are trying to stick to our budget because we definitely have one, but it's so hard. Like we are finding things that are, things we've never seen before. I'm gonna show y'all what we get when I get home, but yeah. I'm loving Costco right now. So I went to the eyeglass place too before getting here y'all and we got my glasses adjusted and I'll have to fill y'all in on that situation but we are all good to go and yeah so let's knock out this shopping because I'm ready to get it over with to be honest. What do we have here? Now this beets. is 54 man boosting superfoods. Now beets is in it but there's 40 fruits and veggies, added vitamins and minerals, B12, B6, C, and zinc, pre and probiotics and fiber. Then hmm. superfoods like ashwagandha, moringa leaf, elderberry, spirulina, oh, wow. wow. goji berry, chlorella. It's in La 64. It's garden berry. It gives you natural energy. There's no Ooh. fake stuff. It's great for people that work out. It looks like y'all are workout athletes Thank you. or something. I don't know. <laughs> something. People, most people like it. Is it good? Well, it most is. people like it. So what's the mixture? 
Well, the difference. How many ounces of water okay, are you putting anywhere, in? Okay, anywhere you can do anywhere. I love it. <laughs> you can do. Um, and you can do any. Hi. Now, look. I always hello. ask first. Hi. <laughs> we love our juice. Yes, we are definitely gonna try um, it out. Anywhere from six to twelve ounces. It depends on the person. My husband likes it. It tastes healthy. Six ounces, and you do one little scoop. One little scoop. Mm, this is about eight or nine ounces what you're tasting, but you can go up to 12 ounces, however much you want it. Some people like it more diluted, right, yeah. some people like it stronger. Oh, it okay. That is so cute. You got one free. I've got a few left over. Yay! Uh, that we get in pure. All day. All day. Thank God for my husband as he loads the groceries up in the back. Babe, you the best. Cause you just are. Oh, thanks. <laughs> He's calling everything that we got because I told him I think we spent, we went over our budget. And I don't know how we miscalculated because that's why I wasn't vlogging as much because I literally was not playing y'all. I had my calculator out. I, mean, I missed some calculating in that thing because I'm gonna just tell y'all it was, it was, it was off. <laughs> it was off by a lot. So he's calling out the things that we got to remind me because he feels like what we spent was um, fair to the amount of things we got. And I don't feel like that. I feel like some of the things we got should have been left behind. But that's marriage, right? Sometimes you got to agree to disagree and keep it moving. So here we are. I'm excited about getting some stuff so that my family is prepared. Oh, God. <laughs> and I'm just naming out stuff that we needed. Oh, okay. You're right, babe. You're right. So it's like this skirt that comes all the way down. I should have gotten a, a medium, but I got it a large because it has like this line going down the side. And um, yeah, it's got the pockets. Anyway, that is the outfit. Super cute, super comfortable. I want to eventually for when it gets like colder outside, I'm like a sweatshirt, like a, a crew neck sweatshirt. I didn't think about that. Cause then the loose fit would actually look good. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to find a, a crew neck sweatshirt to wear with this. Cause then I can wear it even when it's cold. I keep cutting my head off. But anyways, let me get changed so we can put this um, stuff up, get it organized. I need okay guys, so I am comfortable and ready to clean. I just have on this loose like t-shirt and then I just have on these like leggings. Um, but I'm gonna start by, um, I notice I say um a lot, we are gonna work on that. But I want to start by just wiping all my counters and stuff down. Hey, babe, do I want to do that first or clean the refrigerator out? I think I'll go ahead and wipe everything down on this side. So, yeah, and I was sitting over here and I was like, I didn't even open my windows. Because I don't know about y'all, but it's something about opening your windows when you're doing a deep clean, especially on a beautiful day like this. I don't know how warm it is, but if I had to guess, it's probably like 80, 82. Um, so... Yeah, I want to go ahead and get that started. I'm about to make me some water to, well, water with my cleaner in there. And I think I'm gonna mix this cleaner that I got at Target. And then this is the, um, the Pure Castle soap that I got from um, Target in the lavender. And I think I'm gonna also put some of this cause y'all know I'm hooked on this uh, watermelon fabuloso. You're like this smells so good, y'all. This is my second bottle. So I'm gonna mix both of these in some water. Something about the love's got a way about it Like everything you say got me stuck on you It's not always pretty but I'm lost without it Cause you're the way the light and the perfect truth For God so loved this girl that he gave me you So I fall to my knees and I pray to you And I cannot deny that you are the one for me You gave me life, I gave my life, I don't run Oh, 
Okay guys, so I just finished cleaning under my sink. This is where I keep all of my supplies. Y'all, this was needing my attention. I had to clean these containers out from where certain liquids and stuff has leaked into the containers. And these containers are literally a game changer. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love how it looks. Y'all know organized spaces makes me happy. But anyway, excuse the refrigerator, y'all. But anyway, what I was going to say also is these containers also help with staining on the bottom of your cabinets. Like, I don't know how, but one of my dishwasher pods fell out of the dishwasher container and it bust right here. A stain right here that I cannot get up. I literally tried to do bleach, all the things, and it's just not coming up. So when I think longevity in my home, I know, you know, I love areas to be clean, but I just also think about the upkeep. This is a home that we purchased. So it's, it's you know, longevity, keeping things in good condition. And these minor steps, like buying containers, Although some people might think it's too much, like it goes a long way, especially if you are a homeowner. I highly recommend. Y'all look, at... look at this refrigerator. Look at these cabinets. Like I have things everywhere. And I was going to say also, because I know y'all probably like, what happened to the whole Costco haul? Well, my goal, which I should have told y'all this already, but I just thought about it, is to clean everything down first, organize, I mean, clean everything down, throw away the things that I no longer want or need. Um, and then go in and we'll put everything in place and organize everything. <sighs> now I have to move to my pantry. And then once I finish that, we're good. And we can go ahead and start putting those items up and I will show y'all the things I got. So let me go in here and get this pantry cleaned out. And yeah, the things that I have, <laughs> which is never really this overstocked, but my mother in love, once she got word about the whole strike thing, y'all, she started having so much stuff delivered to our house. She bought us this like, uh, dish cleaner she bought us fabric softener um, laundry detergent like water she bought us like some groceries like she is such a blessing she bought us paper towels <laughs> sorry for the refrigerator y'all just disregard but anyways she also have like delivered um, had like uh, what else did she have delivered here tissue paper towels I mean boo coos y'all it's in the storage closet um, water bottles gallons of water um i mean just so much stuff and we were just like we are so grateful for her like she's just such a blessing um but yes y'all my mother in love definitely stocked this cabinet like it's probably never been stocked before because i do keep things my version of stock but she was like listen we finna overstock and she's like a person that overstocks anyway like she keeps bukus of things like one day you know maybe one day but we're not there yet baby we oh, the pantry don't look too bad this is the waters that my mother in love had sent to us. I do need to clean out these. Who put a potato? Y'all see what I be saying? I do need to clean out my containers because I'm about to restock them. As y'all can see, they're pretty dirty, disgustingly dirty. So I need to clean these out. And then um, down here, Kobe's little rack isn't too bad. I need to wipe off his container for where something's been spilled out. And then these, what I normally do is just go through these containers, which all these containers came from Amazon. And then these came from Home Goods. I just need to go through these racks and throw out anything that's no good, that we don't need, that's stale, molded, anything like that. Okay, y'all, now that we are finished cleaning the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and do the haul. First things first, we got these. Popcorners, jalapeno. Those are really tones. We got, oh, I gotta put this meat up. I forgot this was in. We got chicken tenderloin. Um, whoo, chicken wings. This bag is huge. And these bigger items are gonna go in our deep freezer. We do have a deep freezer in the garage. So I'm gonna put these out there in the deep freezer because that's not gonna fit in our refrigerator. And some, turkey lunch meat well tony got some lamb chops i don't eat lamb chops nor does aj and then we got some hickory smoke uncured turkey bacon you know your girl still working towards becoming a pescatarian she a fake pescatarian now she claims that proudly however we are working over here one day the longest I went with being a pescatarian, y'all, consistently was literally like four days. 
but I still acknowledge that and I'm still proud of that because that was four days I couldn't have done prior to that. So we working over here. <laughs> Some catfish. I think that's, I'm gonna see if he will cook that tomorrow, y'all. I don't, I've never fried or cooked. I think I air fried catfish before, but I've never like fried catfish. I'll leave that up to Tony. And then we got some chicken breast. Real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and run these meats actually outside to the deep freezer because I don't want, I don't want them to sit out no longer. I honestly forgot that we had meats in these bags. So I'll be right back, y'all. And then we also got some um, cheese. Y'all know we've been um, no longer buying shredded cheese. When I am looking on, um, I think I was on TikTok and I seen where they have an electric cheese grater. So I need to get on Amazon because I want to buy an electric cheese grater because honey, sometimes shredding that, um, grating that cheese just be a bit much. We also bought this, um, variety pack of sandwich bags, Ziploc sandwich bags. We bought, um, there's a total, it says of 347, and they're like different sizes. We got plenty of these. I'll have to put these in that drawer. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Ooh. So we'll go ahead and place all those here. Uh, like that. Just like that. Woo! Yeah, I'm hot. I so I don't care what type of hairstyle I have. When I get to moving and any little bit of sweat break out in my head, my head itches so bad. That's why I've really not been getting sew-ins, like literally, because it drives me crazy. And then I have to go get me a bobby pin and start. Like I was over here just scratching my scalp. My hair already looks crazy, but I just made it worse. So we got some Dave's Killer Bread because y'all know I love me some Dave's Killer Bread. We didn't get bagels. Got some lemons. Got some seasoning. Also got some garlic salt because y'all know we gonna run some garlic salt up. Some pepper. Uh, some garlic, just regular garlic some honey because we love honey got a container of uh, virgin olive oil um got some limes y'all know i've been drinking my lime water which i've really been alternating from lime and lemon because they both give good benefits so and then tony got some oh these are probably needing to be put up these are fire roasted root vegetables I'm gonna try these. I'm not a big vegetable eater, but y'all know I'm trying to be healthier, so I'm gonna try these and see what they taste like. Oh, got this, which y'all seen us talking to the woman about this, y'all. I'm so excited about this, trying this product out. I've never heard of it ever, but it is a super fruit and veggie vitamin blend. Um, the flavor is garden berry. It's vegan. It says it has 64 superfoods, which is just like literally what I've been needing. Dairy free, gluten free, soy free soy free no caffeine but yeah i was so excited we got two of these actually because me tony and aj will be drinking this and then since we bought two i also got this cute cup how cute is that it says juice on it i'm drinking mine out of this cute little cup but as i'm showing y'all the rest of the things i got i think i'm going to go ahead and be putting it in the containers because that just makes sense to me um but Way. We also got some paper plates because y'all know we do paper plates over here. We get fancy sometimes and I use the regular plates, but honey, trust and believe we use paper plates. Um, let me get my, I'm trying to think y'all. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. Okay. So I'm going to get my containers. This is going to be in the pantry. I've already cleaned them out when I cleaned my pantry out. But we got these for AJ. He loves these popcorners. And they came, they came with uh, four, is it four different flavors? Yeah, four different flavors. It came with sea salt, spicy queso, kettle corn, and white cheddar. So I'm gonna go ahead and break these down and put these in these containers to go in my pantry. Um, this was pretty good deal. I think we paid $20 and there's 30 bags in here. So we thought that was a pretty good deal. Every time we go to the store, AJ always, wants us to get these like 
all the time. Dang, I don't know if these containers don't fit. I have these stocked up. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the pantry and then as he runs out, I'll just restock them because there's plenty more in the box. But it's called Crunch Master and it's avocado toast, crunchy baked rice crackers made of avocado. I just thought that was so good. And then like on the pictures, they got like the avocado on top of it. I'm about to try one because I haven't tried these and I don't know where I'm gonna put them, honestly. I thought that was gonna be like an individual pack. Let's see what this one. Oh, it smells good. Hold on, let me take these gloves off and wash my hands, y'all. I might have to break those down and put those in Ziploc bags because I don't know where else I would put those. This might be what I, or I might could just put them in the basket. But let's see what they taste like. And this is how they look. If you've never had them, this is how they look. Let me take this gum out of my mouth. Wow. That is so good. Oh my goodness. And what is that? Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm not even joking. This is so good. And I feel like it has like a tomato basil type of flavor on it. Mm. Yeah, these are good. I'm excited about these. Mm. Y'all, these were some guacamole. These are gonna be fire. And see, this is what I be needing because in between meals, I'm still pushing these glasses up. I feel like they still didn't make them fit me like they're supposed to, but we're gonna let that go for now. Um, in between meals, having those healthy snacks instead of waiting until I'm like extremely hungry has helped me out so much. Like I do fruits, but you know, sometimes you can get tartar fruit. So having something salty, but still healthy to eat, it's gonna help me out so much. So I love that for us. Love, love, love. Um, let me see. We also got some dishwasher pods. Y'all, I love these. These are literally my favorite ones. So this came with, this is so good. This came with two big bags and this was $20. So I'll put this in the overflow unless they all fit, which I don't know if they all fit in my container. Let me pull that down. There we go. I mean, if they're all fit in here, that'd be great, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. There's my label. Yeah, they're not gonna fit. So we're just gonna put those other ones in the, in the overflow cabinet, but here's the dish pods. Go ahead and put those under the sink. We're almost done. We get a lot of meats, but whatever. Oh, y'all, so y'all know I drink the Yerba Monte um, work, uh, energy drinks. So there's a gas station by my house that sells them, and they have so many flavors, flavors that Sprouts don't have, flavors that Publix don't have. Like when I tell y'all, so this one right here, <coughs> Choco. I should have got 10. Why did I only get five? I've been buying 10. I've been buying it for two weeks. But... Um, <clears throat> choke hold this cranberry what is it cranberry pomegranate oh my god y'all and it's the sparkling it is so so good like oh my god i gotta wash these cans off though because i was looking at them do y'all see that ew so i'm gonna wash every lid of this can i'm gonna wash the entire can because because why that's disgusting i don't even know if y'all can see that but it's like stuff all in that and then we also got a thing of the coconut water so i will make sure to put those up got some fiji water this is what my mother-in-law had sent over along with all the waters i showed you on the pantry so what i'm about to do is go ahead and just stock everything up where it goes and then i will show y'all how it looks when i'm done
Huh? I don't care. I can eat anything. I thought you had said Cabo. Let me finish this part real quick because I'm so tired. We ain't got to go to Cabo since you're tired. You want to pick it up? Is there a lot of chicken salad in there? Yeah. It is? I mean, you might not like it. Try oh, okay. it. If you don't like it, then. Okay. Okay, guys. So, sorry. We're trying to figure out what we're going to eat because I was going to cook, but boy, have that changed. <laughs> but I just finished cleaning the kitchen, y'all. I'm so tired. But I wanted to show you guys real quick. Everything looks so good. Everything besides this, pie, this pineapple that I'm trying to hold on to until I buy some more, y'all. This is good. I'm this pineapple. This part up was not good. This thing is fried, dyed, and disgusted, okay? We're going to let it be where it's at, okay? Um, so we finished cleaning our counter. Very, very good. Very, very well. Um, I cleaned off my counter on this side as well. Wiped down my coffee machines, all that. We cleaned our microwave, all that. We did all of that, y'all. And then we also restocked our dispensers over here. Um... Let me see. I need to get some more cookies for my cookie jar because I did just realize that we have nothing. Refrigerator. We finished the refrigerator. Got that stocked. Everything is good to go. Got an overflow of eggs because that was another thing my mother in love bought was eggs. She bought us cheese. She bought all kind of stuff, y'all. But um, so I got an overflow of eggs more than what my container can hold. So we're just going to let that stay where it's at. But we got everything stocked up, good to go. This is our pantry. Now, who wouldn't walk into this pantry and be happy? Wouldn't this just put a smile? It's almost like a store in your house. But I got all AJ snacks organized here. Got Kobe stuff down here, his allergy medicine, his food, his treats, all of those. And then down here is just the overflow of like water. That's the water I told y'all my mother in love got us. Um, water. And that's a waffle maker that I got. Um... And then an overflow of the items that couldn't go out on the shelves, I just put it under there as well. There's a package that I need to open. I just thought about that. I just threw it in here because I was in the midst of cleaning and didn't feel like taking it in my room. We will open that package together. And then in here is my seasonings. So I restocked all the seasonings that I had to restock. Still got a few that's empty. Like I'm out of the um, garlic and herb seasoning. I'm also out of cinnamon. And then some up here I've never stocked because I've never purchased them, but I got that all stocked up and ready to go makes me so happy. And now I'm about to clean my living room and then I need to go ahead and strip AJ's bed because I normally wash covers on Sundays, but AJ's gone for the weekend. So I'm just going to go in and wash his today. That way tomorrow all I'll have to do is wash ours and our comforters take forever to dry anyway. So I'm going to go to strip his bed and wash his comforters. I'm but yeah, let's keep it moving, guys, because I'm trying to get this stuff knocked out so we can get to the other part of the video, the other things that we have to do. So, yeah. So afraid to open up, so I'd rather hide Man, I'm just so grateful that I made it this far Almost thought I had to call my mama in a cup car Man, he's everything for me and everything I need I would be nothing if you didn't give me no reason to be here. What made you change your mind? So, months and months ago, two of these mirrors fell off the wall We weren't, we weren't touching them <laughs> We weren't touching them or anything. Tony and AJ walked out the door and they just two, the top two y'all literally just fell and broke. So we had to reorder them and Tony had to clean up all the mess. So when I told him I needed the step up letter and if he could get it for me and I told him I was about to clean the mirrors, he was like, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. I see some spot team this, but it's okay. I'm just playing. Your back look good, babe. Huh? Thanks, You're welcome. Arms looking nice, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, it'll do. Well, I'm gonna use the whole can of Windex or flask. Uh. The whole can. So are we gonna go to Drake's or if we are, because I need to look decent. <laughs> they got burgers too, I think. Hi, Kobe. Are you gonna cook the catfish tomorrow, babe? Are you gonna feel like it? I'll cook. You do the catfish. What sides? You wanna make how we're hungry? Yes, I made it for you before. How we're hungry? Some greens. Some greens. We should have grabbed some. We don't have any. We eat mac and cheese every time we eat. But I think we're about to put a hold on the cleaning, y'all, because we're about to go get dinner. It's five o'clock. I cannot believe it took me that long. Like it takes me forever to do my kitchen and organize it. Like I still gotta do my bathroom, my closet, and my office, which I might just pull like a late night since I can sleep in tomorrow. We don't have to be at church till 11.45. So I'm really thinking about literally just drinking coffee when I get back and doing a late night. And then, yeah, that's what I might do. Cause I really wanna get these things done. Um, and then we still gotta do the other stuff. So yeah, let me get ready and we're gonna go to get something to eat. Okay guys, so I just threw something on very quickly. I don't know if I'm liking this shirt. Okay guys, so I just threw on something to go get something to eat. I am have on this white like um, collared top that I got from Forever 21. And then I just have on these jeans that I got from Fashion Nova. Um, just something simple, very plain. Um, we're just gonna go to Drake's and get some dinner and then come back to the house. And I'm just gonna wear my Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah, super, super chill, nothing major. Um, I'm just ready to go eat. I don't know how I feel about this shirt. I really don't know how I feel about this shirt, y'all. I might have to change this. I'm gonna debate if I'm gonna keep this shirt or not because I love this shirt. I just don't know if it just looks right. I might just keep it on. Yeah, we're about to go. I'm starving. So I will talk to you guys, if not tonight, for sure tomorrow. I'm gonna have to warm my eggs up. Mm -hmm. Thank you for cooking breakfast, babe. You're welcome. This juice is so good. healthy. <laughs> like you can just taste it. No sugar whatsoever. You gonna take that one and add some more water to this? Mm -mm. I'm telling you, even when she made it in the store, I didn't like it. Mm. It was disgusting. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it's not like terrible where it's like unbearable, but it's just like. I guess I'm used to drinking stuff like this that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dang, that's healthy. <laughs> like. I believe every word she said to us yesterday. That's how healthy this tastes. Is it sweet? I mean, bitter? No, it's not sweet at all or bitter. It's just bland. My husband made me some breakfast this morning, guys. And it looks amazing. It looks amazing. It was so nice. Got some syrup. And then we got our healthy drink. What is this called? Juice. Oh, you could have put it in my juice cup, babe. It's okay. He made us some of our healthy juice, which is definitely tasting healthy, let me tell you. Um, but we got pancakes, eggs, turkey bacon, and I love that for us. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. It is 9.31 a.m. and I'm over here trying to get this hair together, y'all. Um, I woke up early and did my hair. I did me a partial wig. Y'all, I cut layers in it because the density on this wig was like 250 and it was way too heavy. So I didn't want in and cut layers and I think they did, I think I did, can't talk. I think I did pretty good. You will see it, y'all will see it better once I take these clips out, but I'm trying to get these flyaways together. But um, yeah, I got up, did my hair. My husband cooked me breakfast, which was really, really good. Really, really good. I told him that's probably the best breakfast he's ever made. Um, and now I'm just doing my makeup for church and I am feeling absolutely amazing. I'm going to go in with some moisturizer for my skin, but I'm feeling good y'all. So I think last time I was vlogging yesterday, we, let me move my camera over this way. Cause I feel like y'all not here. I want y'all to be here, but I feel like yesterday I didn't, let me see. I stopped vlogging when we went to go eat. We was trying to go to Drake's, but that didn't happen. 
because Drake's was packed. They literally had a line out the door and around the corner. So we ended up going to the GOAT to eat. It was really good. Came back home, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I came back home and I literally went to town on cleaning. Went to town. Cleaned my closet. Let me show you real quick. I brought my, started bringing my fall stuff down. Um, and organizing that. I didn't do that whole fold thing that I was doing with my sweatshirts last year because, yeah, I just didn't do it. But I kind of um, went back to color coordinating my closet. I mean, we got it together because Lord knows it needed it. And I cleaned my bathroom, my shower, my tub, all of that. Basically cleaned until I couldn't clean no more. Cleaned the mirrors, all of that. Also started AJ's comforter his sheets and comforter in the washer and dryer. So I have his comforter in the dryer now. And then I have his sheet in the um, washer. Um, that way today all I have to do is wash mine. So yeah, it was a pretty productive night, y'all. I even was so determined to get it done that I made me some coffee. I was only able to drink half the glass because I just remember getting to a point to where my body was like, listen, it's a wrap. <laughs> ain't no caffeine, ain't nothing gonna save you. And I wanted to make sure I stopped in time to read my book because I'm still reading The Bait of Satan. So good. Oh my God, it's so good, y'all. It's basically about, and I'm about to go with some um, Power Grip Elf Primer, but it's basically about the um, power of offense, like the spirit of offense. Um, really, really good book, y'all. When I tell y'all, it changes and shifts your whole perspective on how the enemy works. <clears throat> and so, you know, I'm in that space to where now that I'm learning better, I want to do better. That's where I'm at. So, um, for example, with my glasses, y'all, I remember I had said I was going to share with y'all. So with my glasses, I went on September 17th, 17th for my appointment for my glasses. They ordered them. They said they'd be back week. A week, week and a half, I think is what she had said. I call Friday, which was, I don't remember what date that was, what, October the 4th? And was like, yeah, I'm calling about my glasses, you know, came in on September 17th, you know, they was like, what? They was like, nobody's called you? I was like, no. So they was like, uh, yeah, your glasses are definitely here. So I go in to get the glasses. I'm like, okay, whatever, let it go. Go in to get the glasses and <laughs> this dude's face is just like, you know, just very stink, very unprofessional. So I instantly was like thinking about the spirit of offense in this moment. Like I'm trying not to let it get to me. So I was like, whatever. And I was on the way to see my cousin because Friday, my cousin had her baby girl. So we went to see her um, Friday. And that's where we were headed once we left from picking my glasses up. So it was just very rude, very short. AJ walked in with me and Tony kind of came in and he said he could see it from the moment he walked in the door that the dude's, you know, demeanor was off. Like his energy was off. So I was like, whatever, y'all. He threw, like, gave my gave me my glasses, and I was like, put them on my face because the girl told me when I, this is my first time ever getting glasses, y'all. I've never had to get glasses. So the girl that um, ordered the glasses for me said when they when I came in, they would check to make sure that it fit you know my head properly and set on my eyes, you know, my face properly. He didn't do none of that. I put them on. I was like, he was like, I mean, looks good to me, and I'm like, okay, whatever. I get in the car, Tony was like, I could kind of tell that they're not like, you know, gonna stay up. They look like they need to go in, you know, on the sides or whatever. So I was like, all right, whatever, didn't think about it. But as I wore them that day, y'all, they just kept coming down, kept coming down, kept coming down. So that night I was just instantly irritated, like instantly consumed with the spirit of offense. Like when I tell y'all the enemy knows how to get you, but when we know better, that's why it's so important for us to, to tap into the word of God because he teaches us how to overcome the tricks of the enemy, like verbatim. So once you know what it is, you know how to identify it and you know how to go to war with it. So in, in that moment, it consumed me. I was so hot. I was like, ooh, I cannot wait to go up there tomorrow. I'm gonna let this man have it. And I'm talking to his manager. So then once I was like, oh God, this is consuming me. Like this is gonna rob me of a night with my husband. We having a good time, we watching movies. So I was like, I gotta kill this. So I started praying, praying it off of me. And I'm like, I will go up there tomorrow. God will make sure everything gets taken care of. And I'm not gonna let this consume me. There's nothing I can do right now. The eyeglass door is closed. You know, it will get taken care of. And when I tell y'all, almost like instantly, I felt like 
relieved. Like, oh my God, like I felt literally relieved. It made me think about um, the scripture James 4, 7, and I actually have it as a screensaver on my phone. That's what's crazy. It says, submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So submit myself to God's word. Like I literally have that on my screensaver. But submit myself to God's word and rem reminding myself of what God has already assured me and told me. I was like, mm -mm, goodbye. You know, I was able to just get out of that. And the next day I went in there, I did tell them, you know, I did not appreciate the service I received, but I made sure to speak respectfully. And now that my emotions and my anger and the offense, you know, change that. Like I wanted to control that, like control my demeanor, control what I say and how I say it. So I was just like, you know, I came in yesterday. I was not happy with the service I received. I was like, he was very unprofessional. And so he, uh, the dude was like, he was like, let me get you a manager. So he sent me to a manager. Nobody ever asked who the dude was. Um, but while I'm talking to this manager, this is how God works. I didn't, I didn't point him out. I seen him, but I didn't even point him out. I'm like, I ain't going to do all that. So she's helping me. He walks up to check somebody else out. And she's like, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm so sorry. I was like, yeah, I was like, it's just crazy, you know, because when people don't know, that's what we come in here for. Basically, that's what I was saying. She was just like so helpful, like, yeah, they should have did this. They should have did that. And she not knowing the whole time this dude that I'm talking about is literally. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> that looks crazy. Sorry, y'all. My husband tried on something for church. <laughs> I can't get it off. You like white chicks. Can you know what I mean? Who's like that movie White Chicks? I can't get it off. Can you oh know? my goodness. No, no, you know, uh, we got a problem. Mm -hmm. That uh that closet. You said in the closet the pan didn't overflow. I don't know. Oh wow. I ain't gonna do it. Be right back, y'all. We noticed there was some wet spots in our ceiling, but Tony checked it last night, but we couldn't figure out what or where it was coming from. And now he's saying there's water in AJ's closet. So be right back. We got to check that out. Okay, guys. So things definitely changed <laughs> real quick. Long story short, something with the air conditioner unit is clogged, some type of pipe. So my cousin, who I refer to as my sister cousin, Cece, her boyfriend is in HVAC. That's what he does for a career. And he's they're headed this way to figure out what's going on. Um, Y'all, this computer is disgusting. So we're just waiting on them to get here. Tony also went to Walmart to get some things um, that we needed for Sunday dinner, as well as some things that um, AJ. So AJ is also my cousin's boyfriend's name, right? So when I'm saying AJ, I'm talking about her boyfriend that's gonna help us fix the air conditioning unit, not my son. Long story short, did not go to church. It's 11.23, I'm just gonna watch it on TV, so. That's what I'm doing now. Sounds like Tony just pulled back up from the store. And yeah, I'm just trying to keep calm. <laughs> Another thing I've been doing since I've been in my word I wanted to share with y'all in hopes that it will help y'all is I've been reminding myself of the authority I hold because of my father. So moments like this when I'm like, look at the enemy. Look at the enemy just trying to ruin a beautiful Sunday. And then I always say, but, but, he has no territory here. It's not always easy, um, but it's just a constant reminder on the word and the, and the way that God comes on our behalf when the enemy attacks us, no matter how that is, no matter what it looks like, he always finds a way to show up on our behalf. So even for this to happen and me to have a family member that's that does this, and it's like on the way, knew what was going on, was talking to my husband about it and offered to come over here to fix it, that's favor. So again, why would I sit here and mope and be sad? Although this threw off my plans, I'm not gonna dwell on that. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> we still finna get our word. I'm still about to go to church in my living room <laughs> and we still gonna have a good day. I went from getting makeup on, finding something to wear to church to um, my air conditioner unit messing up. But like I said, favor, favor. Authority, authority, <laughs> I keep telling myself that. But I just wanted to, like I said, come on here and catch y'all up in case I don't hop back on today. Um, 
at least you all are kind of caught up to speed as to what's going on and i will jump back on here as soon as i can and yeah have a great day guys see you guys when i hop back on to the gym came home shower skincare the whole shebang last time i was vlogging was yesterday when we were having the issues with the whole hvac system air conditioning unit however you want to you know long story short favor is real <laughs> y'all he came and literally saved the day i probably thanked him like a thousand times y'all i was so happy I told y'all i was making my juice y'all i couldn't wait to use my little bottle make my juice um she also shared that you can add collagen to it so i made sure to add my collagen to it because um i feel like if i don't have a if i don't have something in place to take my collagen i miss taking it it was so bad y'all last week i started drinking it with water and it wasn't bad but if you drink what i've learned is if you drink the collagen in your water you have to I think that it should not be cold. If it's cold, it's gonna make it clunk up. But if you have it at room temperature and you give it a moment just to sit and kind of like dissolve into the water, you can't even see the collagen. You can't really taste it. Like it's really not that bad. But having it in this is gonna be a lot better, of course. So yeah, I'm gonna drink this. And then yesterday, also, I wanted to show you guys I told y'all we had a package, but I never showed y'all because, of course, <laughs> things took a to could turn real quick okay and aj's room also like his carpet wasn't like like puddle i don't know because yesterday i think i kind of freaked out and i'm very dramatic when i'm like scared <laughs> but it wasn't like puddle his carpets was like just you can touch it and feel that there was some wetness to it um but we were able to get the fans in just gonna keep an eye on that making sure no meal do anything like that sets up um but because we caught it so soon i think we're gonna be fine um, but we will be monitoring that. <laughs> but anyway, I never got to show y'all the package I got. So I ordered this hat that I just think is so cute. And it says, I'm just out here trusting God, honey. Well, I didn't say the honey part. But it says, I'm just out here trusting God. And I got this from a brand called Reborn Kings. I seen it on Instagram. And, um, oh, here's the paper. Yeah, it's called Reborn Kings. And I saw this on Instagram, y'all, and I just thought it was so, so cute. I love this green. And then they also have their logo on the side. I just thought this was so cute. Y'all know she's a heck girl, so I was so excited about this. So I'm going to add this to the collection. So happy about that, y'all. Super excited. I'm actually about to go and do my Bible study, spend some time with God, and then I have to log into work, but we will finish out the things we didn't get to do yesterday, which is more of like the, um, I want to show y'all the items I've been using to help me on my journey with just becoming closer to God and having more intimate time with God. Um, I also wanted to talk about like goals and stuff like that. Cause this is the fourth quarter. Like I had all this planned out for yesterday, right? But we're not going to let that steal our joy. We're going to make that happen today. So I wanted to go ahead and just hop on the vlog today and start it. But I do have to, like I said, log into work. But stay tuned and we will do the rest of the things we didn't get to do yesterday today. So hope you guys are having a happy Monday. Hope you guys have a great week. We are claiming a great week, a blessed week. That's what we're claiming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. And I will talk to you guys later on when I get off of work. Okay, so we are almost 
to the end of our day, meaning work day. Not quite off yet, but it is a little while later, y'all, and I'm not far from being off work. Um, I was doing good this morning. Like, I kind of struggled through the night, felt like I was getting sick. But, y'all, when I got ready to log on this morning, when I tell y'all, I still don't feel all the way good. But I had to take some ibuprofen because my head was hurting so bad, my throat was hurting so bad. I can't stop blowing my nose. I don't know what is going on, but. So I just wanted to share things that I feel like has helped me so much this year, just grow and evolve and just working towards becoming the person that God is calling me to be. And the one thing that I have been holding on to y'all as I get closer to God is just zoning in on who he wants me to be. God put me here for a purpose and knowing that there's an assignment on my life and there's a blueprint attached to that and it's very, very detailed. And I thought, you know, like, you know how you think you know, but it's like the closer I'm getting, to, closer I'm getting to God, the more he's revealing to me, the more he's calling me to do, the more uncomfortable he's requiring me to be. So I am just like, I have to share these things that I've been just very, very intentional about and just staying tapped into so that I can grow and learn. Because I feel like once we learn, we, we make better decisions. Once we learn, our spirits get convicted. And it's just like once we learn, we aim to do better because we know better. So real quick, I'm going to show y'all some of the things that I have, that like I said, I have purchased that's helped me. First things first is going to be my devotional, which is the Sarah Young Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Peace. I showed y'all this when I first got it. Um, my husband got this for me when I got baptized last year. Oh, no, last year. This year, actually, I got baptized in February. He got me this and my Bible as a gift. And this has helped me so much, y'all. It's literally a devotional. And every day, it's like God is literally talking to you. And it just gives you a message. I've showed y'all this before. But it just, y'all, it just blows my mind how a lot of times it'd be right on, like right in the area that you're struggling with or right in the area where you're praying about something. Um, another thing that I've been reading is the bait of Satan. I told y'all about this book. This is a book that's been holding me accountable and teaching me things that I need to unlearn things that I've told myself or the flesh has taught me that it's okay because it makes me feel good or it's okay because, you know, such and such did this to me, you know, this and that. But what I'm learning is with God, there's only one way. And in all honesty, choosing that way, you're going to find more peace than trying to figure things out ourselves or trying to retaliate ourselves. Like he's telling us the way the enemy is manipulating us and using us to basically do his work and <laughs> be punished for it. It's just making me, like I said, more aware of certain things and the decisions I've made. And like I said, sometimes we don't know. Sometimes we think it's the right way until you really get in your word, not going off what nobody else say or what they feel or really fact checking and getting in that word yourself and learning who God has called us to be as individuals. Highly recommend. I got this from Amazon. Um, like I said, this is more so holding me accountable and teaching me things that I need to change about myself to become a better person. Because, you know, as individuals, we all have something we need to work on. We all have something that we, you know, can be better at. And... To be better, I mean, you just have to change things. You have to change your mindset, the way you say things. Like, it's just a real reflecting moment of who we're not supposed to be. Like, he's literally painting an image and breaking it down as to how strategic the devil is. This right here, y'all, this is so good. This is so good. My friend Whitney that recommended this to me, a pastor recommended it to her, and he told her that he reads this book every year. Like I want to start, I want to read this book every year too, just to keep me in alignment and to keep me aware of when the enemy is attacking and how he's attacking. Very, very, very good book, y'all. Very, very good book. And then of course my Bible, which my Bible's in my room, y'all, but I've showed you my Bible. I have a study Bible. I highly recommend a study Bible, y'all. It really helps you to understand and study the Bible and study what's being said versus just reading it. My Bible breaks things down. I've showed y'all several times my Bible, so I'm not going to go get it. But and it, like at the bottom, I showed y'all before how it gives you a summary, basically just overall what's all being said in the passage or in the chapter, um, in the verses. Like 
the message is being relayed. Like it is so good. Get you a study Bible. If you feel like you are trying to, you know, get into reading your Bible and you feel lost when you read it, or you feel like you're just reading to be reading it, get a study Bible. It's going to change the whole outcome of what you're getting from the Bible. Reading the Bible has helped me tremendously committing to a time. I commit to a certain time. Um, and I feel like you have to kind of work that out with your schedule as well as the time frame you want to block off. Work that out with your schedule because what you want is to agree to a time and a schedule that you can be consistent in because uh, consistency has helped me a lot, a lot. And that all comes from having a time that I know I can be tuned in, not a time where I'm halfway paying attention, not a time where I feel like I got to rush, not a time where I know my family is going to like come in, talk, interrupt. You want to be in a space of no distractions, no interruptions, just you and God reading your Bible. Another thing I do before I read my Bible is I pray. I ask that God help me to understand whatever I'm reading. I ask that he helps me to see whatever he needs me to see in the moment that I'm reading my Bible. I bought this, um, the prayer journal. I got this from Amazon as well. And y'all, I showed, showed y'all this already, but y'all, I love this. Let me tell y'all why I love this so much. So in this journal, it's like a weekly prayer. I'll also write down like things that are on your heart, scripture, adoration. Um, there's a space for God me, um, confession, teach me. And um, then you have the other side for uh, prayer requests. So you can pr request uh, prayers for yourself, for your family, for your country, community, anything you want to apply more in your life, reflection. Like I, I love it. I love it. So I will try to remember to link this below, y'all. Like I said, I got this on Amazon and I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, another thing that I bought per, uh, recently when I went to Gatlinburg is this journal. It says, be mindful, a journal, a journal for wellness of body and mind. And this is basically like a wellness check-in for self, just like how you feeling, you know, um, it says mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally. Um, that's a quote from someone, but it just has like different, like, um, let me go where, okay. It just has like different, like check-in places, like morning mindfulness, check in with your body. How's it feeling today? Does anything feel tense? And then it says, take three breaths in, in for four counts out for six counts. And any part of your body feels tense, direct your breath into them. So it's kind of like just helping you take a moment to be, to exist, to check on yourself. How are you feeling mentally, physically? Like, how are you feeling? You can just share, you know, whatever helps you, body and mind. Like, y'all, I love this journal. I love it. Love, love, love. And this we found when we were in Gatlinburg, y'all. I had went to the dollar family dollar because I was trying to look for some new stickers because the stickers I ordered from Amazon for Tony's gift bags for his gift were too big. So we went to Family Dollar and my cousin was like, I found this journal. And I instantly loved the little aesthetic, like how cute it was. I love the neutral tone. But as I opened it up and started looking at it, I'm like, wow, these are things we actually take for granted that that cost us nothing. Like morning mindfulness, evening mindfulness, midday mindfulness, just making ourselves aware of the things that are on our minds and that we're carrying and that we don't realize is taking a toll on our bodies. And once for me, if I see a, a pattern, cause y'all know I haven't had this long, but if I see a pattern, I'm gonna move it right on over to my prayer journal. <laughs> and you know, like God, I, this is something I'm seeing repetitive. Like I'm seeing this come up a lot. Like as I'm journaling in my mindful journal, journal I'm noticing it's, it's, you know, taking a toll on my mental state, my body, just whatever the case may be, y'all. This is my, which I've showed y'all, but this is my, um, <laughs> this is my, um, vision board that I created. Well, this is my vision board that I created for this year, y'all. And, you know, it's just a constant reminder of the things I'm working towards, a constant reminder of the things that were important to me. And the top, the number one thing I have in the middle is she started the year with a simple prayer, Lord lead the way. And that is so true. Y'all that is so true over here in the corner. I don't know if y'all can really see that, but that picture says comfort zone who comfort zone who, cause we get uncomfortable. That's crazy how they came back around. I love that. 
And then y'all know every month I do my calendar um, for the month. So I created my October calendar. Um, and then I need to plug all the rest of my stuff in y'all. The only thing I have on here is <laughs> my retreat because my retreat is coming up y'all. That's in what, two weeks. I'm excited about that. For those who don't know, I have a women's organization. She's unapologetic, a space created for women to walk boldly in who God has called them to be, to walk boldly in who they are, free from judgment, surrounded by love and genuine love, <laughs> genuine support, genuine encouragement, motivation, just a whole, just a whole community of just like-minded women aiming every day to be they to be better than they were yesterday. Um, that's basically what it is. And so we started last year doing a retreat, self-care retreat. And so this will be our second year doing it. I've been working extremely hard on that as well, y'all. Um, so we are, we're preparing for, we are preparing for that. Just some new things I'm doing in general that I'm just stepping out of my comfort zone and I'm no longer just saying I'm gonna do it. Like as soon as I get a thought and God confirms it for me, I'm putting a plan, I'm putting a plan in place and I'm praying for a deadline like, God, is this something you need me to move on now? Is this something longevity? I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video entirely. As always, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate y'all support. I thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel and joined our community. Y'all, we are really growing and learning over here. Feel free to comment below. I love to talk to you guys in the comments. Um, just so grateful. So, so grateful. Um, I thank you for all the comments and the feedback on my video that I did for the um, getting uncomfortable message God gave me. Y'all, he's been giving me more messages and I've been putting them right in my iPad. Like I have a whole section for when he speaks to me, I'm putting those down. And um, yeah, I'll be sharing those messages with you guys as he shares them with me in hopes of helping, you know, Cause those messages, I'm saying it, but God gave it to me. So y'all know it helps me too. Like it, I'm learning things in these messages too. So I've been just getting them down in my journal and I shared with y'all in my last video or the, yeah, I was going to be working on getting a podcast up and running to share these messages. But until then, I'm probably going to be just hopping on here and sharing them on YouTube because, you know, like I shared before, I feel like when God gives us a word, it has an expiration. So it's very important that we speak when he says to speak and so, yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to what he's doing in my life. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I would love for you to join the family. If you haven't already liked this video, comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!